First Chronicles, Chapter 1. Adam, Seth, Enosh. And they're different spellings. They're the same people. Kenna, Mahilio, Jared, Hanak. Now, Genesis 5, 24, that's Enoch. Jude 14. And you got Richard. He's Rich, Rick, or Dick. Nothing wrong. Methuselah, Lemek, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, with Noah there, verse 4, that's the only one where you got all the sons listed. Because now we're going to go into the race of people. The race of mankind comes from two men, Adam and from Noah. Notice how God has not included Cain, the cursed one. No mention of Cain at all. And yet Genesis chapter 4 does mention his family. But it's not recorded in Chronicles. You will find Jesus Christ in Adam, Seth, Enosh, Hina, Melilio, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, and Shem. You'll find the line of Jesus Christ. The sons of Japheth. This would be the European. This picks up verse 5. On picks up after the flood. The European, sons of Japheth. Gomer, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, Tubal, Mishlik, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer. Now, that would be, some think it's Try to find my note. The Germans, Asenes, Retha, and Targima. And these names are, I mean, God's not going to strike us down for not getting the name right. But then again, we get credit for knowing the names and reading the names. And when you're reading your Bible on your own, just put your eyes over the word. You don't have to fret. The sons of Javan, that would, some would say that's Greek, the Greeks. Isla and Tarshish. That's possibly Spain. And Jonah was on his way to Tarshish, fleeing from God. Kittim and Dodan. Verse 8 to 16 is the African, the sons of Ham. And Psalms record that Israel was in the land of, of Ham. The sons of Ham, Cush, Mizra, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Sheba, and Havla, and Septa, Rama, Sebekiha, the sons of Rema, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod. This would be a grandchild of Ham. Nimrod then began to be a mighty upon the earth. The Bible says in Genesis he was a mighty hunter, a mighty one. From Nim Nimrod you get the story of Tammuz. The God child that is born of Mother God on December 25th. Nimrod. That's an interesting study in Babylon, Mystery Babylon, if you need a headache and a sleeping pill. I mean, it's a very interesting book, but it is a very hard book. And Mizram begat Linim and Anima and Lee Hebron and Nephitalim. And Phyrsism and Castleum, of whom came the Philistines. So where did the Philistines come from? They came from Ham, they came from Castleum. That little parenthesis. Parentheses in your Bible are great, interesting notes to make. And Catherine Horum. And Canaan. Now notice that name Canaan. We are dealing with the African in the land of Africa, but Canaan was where Israel is today. These are Hamites who left Mount Ararat, started headed south to their land called Africa, and they stopped in the Middle East. And they settled. And Zidon, and, uh, wait a minute, and Canaan and begat Zidon, or Zidon, his firstborn, Heth. The Jebusite, that's Benjamin's land. That's where Jerusalem sits. So the Hamite is not completely in Africa. The Jebusite, also the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite. Sinite? That's where Moses took the land of Israel. Mount Sinai, the wilderness of Sinai. 
uh, of sign of uh, sign yeah cyanide. cyanide and the ivory and the zemurite and the hammerite hamathite okay now verses 17 to 23 we deal with asia the oriental shem this is the religious one Japheth, he's the explorer. He's the one that gets in ships and travels around the world. He's the one that goes in outer space. He's the one that's making inventions. Ham, you go back to Rebel, you go back to Genesis, he's the servant. Asia, Oriental, he's the religious one. He's the God of he's the one of God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. He's the one that has the yin yang. He's the one that you get on the mat, you cross your legs, and you pray towards Mecca. He's the one, the uh, the Native Americans. They're the brown skin. The ham is the dark skin, and Japheth is the the the, the white skin, the pale skin. Listen, God divided these three sons of Noah, and you got the three races of the people. And the fact is. You look at their color, you look at who they are, you look at their 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 facial exp expressions and their facial features, says, hey, you either belong to this tribe or that group of people or this group of people. Any other thing, you're violating scripture. The sons of Shem, Elam, that would be the Persians, and Asher, there's the Syrians, and Af and Aphlech, kid. And Lud and Amram and Uz, that's not Uz of Job, and Ho and Gether and Meshach, and Aphlex begat Sheila, and Sheila begat Eber, there's your Hebrew, add an H and EW, Hebrew. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg. All right, so here we have one child, and we got something. It, we got a world event here that we don't know what. It says, because his days, the earth was divided. Now, we don't know if that's Genesis 11 with the languages. Or we don't know if that was the continental drift, which has been proved that these nations were all together. Now, that continental drift, did that happen during the flood? This could be during the time of... Um, when the earth was divided by the languages. But there was something in the earth that the earth was divided. The earth is divided. God divides. God has put boundaries. And his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Alamdad and Shiva and Azur, Mathath, and Jara, Hadaram also, and Azel, and Dukla, and Ebo, and Abno, and Shiva. Oh, that's an easy name, Shiva. And Ophir and Havilah and Joabab, all these were the sons of Joktat. Okay, 24 to 28. The line of Shem to Abraham. So now we're, we're, get, we're getting Chronicles chapter 1. Let's just get these people out of the way, but there are important people as we'll step forth into 2 Chronicles 2. All right, we got Japheth, we got Ham. We're back to Shem, 24. So Shem's important. Aphthas, Chela, Eber, Peleg, Rule, Segu, Nahor, Terah, and Abram. You'll find these names in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Abram, the same as Abraham. That's the one that God will choose that him and his wife are barren. They will have one son by a miracle child. From that son, he will have two sons, but one will be chosen among the other. God will hate, will love the one and hate the other. And then from that one child be 12 out of four wives. And you have an entire nation called Israel, called the Jews, called the Hebrews, that God has set his love upon because of Abraham, because of Isaac, and because of Jacob. Shem, Aphrodite, Afra, 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 yeah, I've heard that you can't really say his name twice, three times. Sheila, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Sugar, Nahor, Taram, and Abram. There is the one people that God has set his face on. There they are. There are eight boys mentioned. And the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. Again, it's upon Isaac and not Ishmael. 
Ishmael was born after the flesh. Isaac was born after the spirit, the child of promise. Now the wrong sons, verse 29 and 31. These are the generations firstborn of Ishmael. He's not the promised child. Though he steals that promise, though he tries to, to put the, in the media and the newspapers and the magazines say, look at us, they're the Arabians. And the Ab Arabians were born not of the wife of Abram. Because it was Abram and it was Hagar. And after that child is born, Ishmael, God says, hey, I got to call you Abraham. And I got to change the name of your wife from Sarai to Sarah. And I know it says the sons of Abraham, but really, according to the Bible, Ishmael is born of Abram. Now, I'm not saying the Bible is incorrect. He did have that name change. But it's passed on to one son and one son only, and he's mentioned in chapter one, but he's not the focal point. We'll get to the focal point in chapter two. But these are the wrong sons. These are the generations of Ishmael. Nebioth, then Kedar. That's an interesting name. You find a woman of Kedar in the Song of Solomon. She says, I am black. Ishmael will gather into Esau. Ishmael will gather into the African. And Abdul. And Midshem. And Mishma. And Duma. And Masa. Does that name remind you? Masa. And Hadad. And Tima. Jetu. Nephish. Kinema, these are the sons of Ishmael. Now Abraham had a third wife. Now the sons of Ketra, or Ketua. And these, when Abraham recorded in Genesis, he says she had these children. He gave them gifts and sent them, set, uh, sent them away from Isaac. Abraham's concubine. She bears Zimran, Joktis, and Medan. And Midian. Let's go to Exodus 2.15 about Midian. Exodus 2.15. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 15. Yeah, how did I get there? I'm in Exodus 15. Hold on. Exodus 2.15. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. They came and drew water. These are the children of Ketrua. And filled their troughs with water. Uh, verse 21. And Moses was content to dwell with the man. And gave and he gave Moses Zephora his daughter. Moses marries into Midian. Nishbak and Shua and the sons of Jokshan, Sheba. That's, that's a very popular name amongst the group, Sheba. And Dedan. And the sons of Midian. All right, this is the one we just read about with, with Moses. Now, the sons, not the daughters. Ephah and Ephur, Henoch and Abida and e Elda. All these are the sons of Ketra or Ketrua. Either or. Now you say, well, where's Moses' wife? It says his sons. His sons are listed. And Abraham begat Isaac. That's the promised child. We'll come back to him. And the sons of Isaac, Israel, I mean, the sons of Isaac, Esau and Israel. All right, we'll come back to Israel in a moment, but let's get the families, but not the important families. The sons of Esau. Now, this is the son that is recorded in the scripture. Esau have I hated. Esau, he's the fleshy one. He's the one that sells out his birthright for beans. Eliphaz, Varul, Jeshish, Jamlin, and Korah. The sons of El Eliphaz, Teman. Job chapter 2, verse 11. Job chapter 2, verse 11. In Job 2.11, when Job's three friends heard of all the evil that was come upon him, they came, everyone from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite. There's Eden. So one of Job's friends is an, was an Edomite. 
the sons of Eliphaz, Teman. Now, this is not the same Eliphaz. I'm, we're looking at Teman. And somewhere along the line, there came a man named Eliphaz, probably from their father's name here, and he was from the place of Teman, where Teman made a land. And Omar, today the Arabians call that Omen, O-M-A-N. That's down south. Zepha and Gatim, Kenaz, Tima, and Elimelech. That's the one that attacks Israel and, from behind. And that's where, as a family, we read today by chance that Moses goes up and he puts his two arms, they're getting heavy, and he's got to have them held up by her and uh, his brother with stones, and Joshua is fighting. And when the arms come down, Israel's losing. When the arms stay up, Israel wins, and God says, I've had it with the Elimelech. This would be the same one that God will tell King Saul, I want you to go wipe out. And King Saul, he spares the best, he spares the king. Samuel comes up and this hacks the king in all pieces. The sons of Raul, Nahath, Zerah, Shema, and Meza. The sons of Seir, Latin, Shobo, Zibun, Zibayan, Anna, Dasan, Ezer, Dishan. Hey, you got to think this back. Yeah, I always think about the poor mothers that got to call these children. And the sons of Seir, Latin, Shofel, Zephan, Anna, Dushan, Ezer, Dishan. The sons of Latin, Horai, Homa, and Timna, and Lothan's sister. Timna was Lothan. So, <clears throat> I don't know why this woman is, is mentioned, but here she is, and they're told she's a sister. What is that? It's important for God to say, put her in that list, but she is a sister. She's a girl. She's a daughter. The sons of Shobo, I don't have all the answers. Alan and Mahal, Ebo, Shephi, and Anam. The sons of Zeban, Aiah, and Anna. The sons of Anna, Dishon, and the sons of Dishon, Amram, and Ishban, and Ithram, and Chiran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, and losing Zaydan and Jadok, my tongue's all tied up. And sons of Dishan, Uz. That's Job chapter one. Job is living in Edom territory by that land, Uz. What it is it? Here's a man named Uz. He goes to a certain area and he says, Hey, guess what? I'm gonna name this place. Washington, D.C. I'm going to name this place Washington State. I'm going to name this after me, Charleston. There are places all over the world named for a person, and that's what us did. He named the land after, or they maybe named the land after him. He didn't know, but there's where it's from. So we get the locale of Job, and the fact is that here's a man, a Teman, Temanite, visits Job, He's in the land of Edom and Anram. Okay, we're done. Well, we're not done with names, but we're done with the list. Early kings of Edom, verses 43 to 50. Now, why God went into the southeast of, of Israel to the kings, I don't know. But let's look at some kings that are not the kings of Israel. Now, these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela, the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Dimnaba. And when Bela was dead, Jabin, the son of Zerah of Basra, reigned in his stead. And when Joab was dead, Jobab was dead, Hashram of the land of the Temanites, there it's Temanites. See, now Temanites is a land now. It's not a person. It's a land. Reigned in his stead. When Hisham was dead, Hadad, the son of Bedad, which smote Midian. And that's, could be the family of Moses. Midian, the field of Moab. Now we're up in Moab. Moab is the children of Lot. Reign in his stead, and the name of his city was Hava. And when Hadad was dead, Shamla of Masarachah 
reigned in his stead. When Shemla was dead, Shaul of Rebeth, by the river, little side note, by the river, reigned in his stead. I mean, if you live over here in, the, in those areas, you would know where, where you're talking about. I mean, we're not in America. We don't, I mean, if you were to tell me, you know, places in Volusia County or New London County, all right, I would have an idea where you're talking about. But somebody who lives over there and you're reading, oh, yeah, we know where that place is. You used to go fishing at that river. You used to have a little cabin by that river. I don't know. And when Shaw was dead, Baal, Baal, no, it's Baal. That's a god. Baal Hanan, the son of Archibald, reigned instead. Now, why would a, somebody name their child after a god? Why do Catholics name their daughters Mary? Or Maria? Or Jesus? Why are many children called John, James, Peter? I, would you, as a religious form of, of a kind of Christianity that's not Christianity, why would they name their children such names like that? I don't know. The son of Archbor reigned in his stead. And when Baal Hannah was dead, hey dad, had dad, hey dad, hey dad, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Payu, Payi. I like Payu, Payi. And his wife's name was, here's another daughter out of the whole list. Someone's daughter was Miha Tibel, the daughter of Metrid, the daughter of Mishap. Now here's another. Now using the Bible, it's this guy has been begat of this. This is his father. This is the son of a man. Here, you got a daughter of a daughter. Something to it. I don't know what. Now, 51 to 54, we got dukes. Now, we got to lay out here. Ishmael has been called 12 princes. Esau or Edomites are dukes. The children of Israel are tribes. That's, that's the distinguishing mark. They're either princes, they're dukes, or they're tribes. Hey, Dad, he shows up a lot, that name, died also. And the dukes of Edom were Duke Timna, Duke Ala, Ela, Duke Jetheth, Duke Ahalabaha, Duke Hila, Duke Pion, Duke Kenes, Duke Timon, from what the land, Duke Midzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Irum. These are the Dukes of Edom. Now, chapter two, we're going to get Israel. We got the families out of the way. We got the important family, the family of Shem. And look who comes from Shem, Abraham. Well, we got Ishmael. Let's look at Ishmael. Three verses. And then from Isaac, we get two sons. We'll look at Esau. Well, he gets a few more verses. But Israel will get chapters. And from the chapters of Chronicles and names and name and name, we'll come back to the story of David. We'll come back to the kings. And it'll be Jewish flavor. It, it starts off with Adam. Where there were no Jewish nation. We work our way up to Abraham, where there's now a Jewish nation. We had a few other little nations there. We'll just throw them in, give you some information. Then we go back to Jewish. It, there's only one group of people. There's only one settled people in all the world. There's only one people that God said, I will bless you. That if you bless them, I will curse you if you curse them. And that's the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And when you try to steal that promise, as the Arabians are trying to do. When you try to steal the glory of Israel, as churches try to do and religions try to do, and when you mess with Israel, as presidents have done, you're bound for a curse. You're bound for a curse. And that's First Chronicles 1.